sound archaeologist Lara Croft. Tis a sad day, Winston. She will live on forever in our hearts. Surely, Winston. And for this is but a memorial service. There may yet be news from Von Croy in Egypt. Indeed. We can only hope and pray that she may yet return to us. But I fear Von Croy digging in the hopes of discovering her alive may only be met with black reality. Indeed. Indeed. To the study, gentlemen, where we may pontificate over the day's disheartening events. Indeed, my friend. Even the heavens cry out. Ah, the Philosopher's Stone. One of Lara's early conquests, and one of her most challenging pursuits, if my memory serves me. And Rome still bears the scars of that little episode. Ah, she was never one for diplomacy, Lara. But she certainly knew how to paint the town red. Well, god darn, ain't she just a picture? Ah, the charming Mr. Larson. Has Pierre let you off the leash? Talking of which, where is our learned friend? Oh, he's around. You got the cash? I've got the cash, but I don't deal with the monkey. <laughs> well, now that ain't polite for a lady. Even if the monkey has the mercury stone. Lucky I'm in a generous mood. Ah, crawled out from under your rock, I see. No need for unpleasantries, Miss Croft. I'm afraid I must, once again, relieve you of your burden. Easy come, easy go. And so ended the first of many. I'm sure Miss Croft would be the first to apologize for her not entirely courteous behavior regarding some of the more delicate religious artifacts, Father Patrick. No need, my friend. All in a good cause. At least we knew they were in secure hands. And fortunately, the church was above sending a bulletproof envoy to retrieve them. Ah, but she recognized her place in the great scheme. Some things as history has illustrated, best left to their slumber. I speak in riddles. I talk of the stricken wolf ship. Ah, the U-boat episode. Miss Croft would never enlighten me as to the details. For my own protection, she would often stress. Indeed, Winston. And for this, you should be grateful. Deep in the bowels of their vessels lay one of the most powerful artifacts in all Christendom. An artifact which, when wielded at the vanguard of an army, would make that army invincible. The Spear of Destiny. But the boat never reached the Fatherland with its precious cargo. It disappeared from radar three weeks into the journey.
This was the resting place of the 52 seamen, and also something much more sinister. The Zapadnaya Litsa port, once the pride of the Russian fleet. Ex-KGB, the majority of them. Trained killers. Dealt with mafioso before. Unpleasant memories. Prefer to avoid them whenever possible. Yes, I would prefer this also. Hardly a major search party, is it? There's something you're not telling me. Ah, yes. I'm a big girl now. Hit me with the bad news. It is bad news. The Admiral's allegiance has been bought, and under his command, a nuclear submarine, it's housed in one of the dockyards. Well done. Nuclear submarine. Sounds nice. Perfect holiday. Lara, wait. Take this tracking device. What's this? You're not worried about me. Yes, somebody has to. Touching, but don't wait up. saw enough of the power of this artifact to recognize its rightful place was where man could never again misuse it. And not enough for it to destroy her. Some powers are beyond the wit of man. Oh dear, gentlemen, I do apologize. It seems someone up above has a sense of humor. If you will excuse me a moment, I shall fetch candles. It is a night spurred by hell. And as the horsemen drove ever onwards across the world, the heavens boiled in their wake. Ah, benefits of a religious education. This night reminds me of the time out of Canusi. Winston's home? Indeed, yes. The staff had taken leave due to flooding. Lara, back when she was a slip of a girl, was staying with Winston and his wife. It was her that contacted me, as a matter of fact. Some trouble out in one of the islands. Weird lights, manifestations, that sort of thing. Thought I might be able to help. It was on a hellish night like this when I arrived. Evening, Winston. And how would I be able to help? So, people have seen these apparitions out on the island. There is talk of little else in the village, Bram. I'm doing all I can to keep this gossip from Lara. I, you would be a wise man. It would be unwise for her curiosity to draw her to that place. And you have some idea of what it could be? To be frank with you, no. But as the devil finds work for idle hands, I've spoken with Father Finnegan and have a boat chartered for the crossing late on this very evening. Good Lord, Bram. You have not chosen the evening for it. I have my faith to protect me, Winston. Be careful. I fear on that island it's what you cannot see that will hurt you, Bram. Time to get to the bottom of this, old friend. You'll have learnt a few valuable lessons from that, I'd be thinking. You'd be thinking right, Father. Her curiosity was eventually her failing. The path she chose was the path she loved. And for this, we should celebrate, not grieve. Although I fear for Von Croy, 
pursuing his inner demons, driven half to madness in his quest for her final resting place, he will not find peace in himself until this is complete. Ah, the infamous trophy room. And you will be doing the acrobatics to enter, Winston, yes? Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. And here it is, gentlemen. The artifact which led to the animosity between Miss Croft and Von Croyne, ending ultimately in this terrible business. Okay, Miss Croft, I'm presuming by the lack of communication that you're in industry's building, right? Containing our little prize, the iris? Affirmative. Right. Now this is what you're good at, yeah? Time to switch roofs. Switch roofs? Easy to say from the ground floor, wouldn't you agree? Come on now, stiff up a lip, top hole and all that. Time to get hip with zip. Gone. Yo! Jimmy Hendrix is back! Laura! You there, Laura? Croft! Are you getting this? Slimy. Jeez, now that was a blast. What the hell happened? Never mind, Yankee. I'm going in. <laughs> Rest her soul. Mr. Van Croy! Mr. Van Croy! Come quickly! What is it, man? What have you found? Pass it to me. Pass it to me! We've found her. 